about power sharing. Power sharing is one of the important things of democracy. In democracy, when the majority doesn't respect the view of the minority, the minority alienates and in long run, the nation goes in trouble. So, power sharing is one of the important things of democracy. In democracy, there should be power share as much as possible. Power should not be fostered into one people only. There should be power share between different organs of the government like judiciary, executive and legislature. And in India, where there is federal government is there, there is a power sharing between central government, state government and local government. Power sharing is also provides all minorities to their due respect and they think they have the say in the government. Power sharing in different organ, different political parties and also different pressure groups. In this chapter, we will discuss about how power sharing each provide a new structure, the two nations like Belgium and Sri Lanka. Belgium is a small country in Europe. It is smaller in size of the state of Haryana in our country and here the population is little over 1 crore which is half of the Haryana state. So the ethical composition of Belgium is very much different. There is different diversity in language. There are three types of language speaking are there. The majority is the Dutch speaking, those who are living in the Flemish region and 40% of the people who live in Wallonia region speaks French language and Remaining 1% Belgium speaks German language, but the story is very much different in Brussels. The capital city of Belgium, Brussels, where the majority is French language, 80% speaks French language, 20% speaks Dutch language. Though the Dutch language speaking are majority in Belgium, but they are minor in capital city. But French language speaking are majority in minor in Belgium but major in Brussels. The minority French speaking people are very much developed and advanced relatively age compared to the Dutch speaking peoples. The Dutch speaking peoples who are the majority in the country but they are not prosper as the French speaking peoples because they get the benefit of the economic development and education later as compared to the French speaking peoples. That created a conflict, language conflict between the Dutch speaking and the French speaking. In 1950 to 1960, there is a language conflict between the, these two speaking of languages. And in the country, in the capital city of Brussels, that is a very much other situation. The majority of Dutch speakers in the country, but they are minority in the Brussels. Here is another example of Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is our neighbor country which is few kilometers away from the Tamil Nadu coast. The population is little over 2 crore as much as compared to the Haryana. And there is a diversity in the country like other South Asian nations. Here different language speaking and different religious persons are living. Sinhala speakers the majority in the country, those who are 74% and their main religion is Buddhist and Tamil, those who are speaking Tamil language, their main religion is either Hindu or Muslim, they are 18% mostly concentrated on the north and east part of the Sri Lanka, they are the minorities. The Tamil speakers could also divide into two subgroups, the Sri Lankan Tamils means those who are the native Tamil speakers of Sri Lanka and the Indian Tamils, those who are migrated from the tea plantation during the time of colonial period, they are considered as the Indian Tamils and the 7% of Christians who are both Tamils and Sri Lanka. Majoritism in Sri Lanka. Majoritism is a belief when the majority of a country wants to suppress the idea, the ideology, the culture and the language of the minority because and taking the advantages or virtue of their majority that is called the majority. When Sri Lanka got independent after 1948, the leaders of the Sinhala community want to show their dominance over the minority by virtue of their majority in the parliament. 
In the year of 1956, the parliament passed an act according to which Sinhala is the only official language and disregarding the Tamils. The government followed a preferential policy which favored only the Sinhala language. The reach preference for applying the university candidates and also preference for the government job for the Sinhala language speaking. The a new constitution stipulated that states shall protect and foster only Buddhism language. So not only language but also the religion. There is a vast discrimination between the majority and the minority. All that measures which are taken by the Sinhala Buddhist leaders gradually proved that the minorities who are in the Sri Lanka they feel alienation among in the country. They thought that none of the leader which is led by the Sinhala community or the Buddhist community is sensitive towards their language and culture. The relation between the Sinhala community and the Tamil community strain over a period of time. The Sri Lankan Tamils want to prove they, cre they created thousands of parties and struggles for the recognition of Tamil as also one of the official language. The Tamil speakers demanded the regional autonomy and security and government self as like Sinhala speakers. That is why they created different parties for demanding their rights. But their rights repeatedly denied by the leaders of Sinhala community in Sri Lanka. In 1980s, several organizations were formed for a th independent Tamil film. Lot of parties were made like LTTE, Liberalized and Tiger Tamil film, which demanded in the north and east part of the Sri Lanka, there should be a separate state for them. And the distance between the two communities turned into a widespread conflict. There is a conflict between both Sinhala speakers and the Tamil speakers, which turned into a civil war. Civil war, thousands of people being killed from both the communities. As a result of civil war, thousands of people being killed from the both the community. The impact of civil war was hugely affected the economic, cultural and development activities of the Sri Lanka. In previous class, in the first chapter of economics, we have read about the tremendous record of Sri Lanka in the country. There is health facilities are available there, the index is very high. And Sri Lanka is the most developed country in South Asia, but this civil war impacted hugely. Lot of people were lost their livelihood. They are forced to migrate from the Sri Lanka, and is badly impacted to the Sri Lanka. Now we will read about Belgium. In Belgium, the Belgian leaders took a different path. They recognized the language diversity, the regional diversity in that country between 19. 1970 to 1993, the constitution of Belgium has amended four times. Following are some of the amendments which take taken by the Belgium leaders to maintain the harmony in that country. So the first amendment is the constitution is prescribed in such a manner that the number of Dutch people, Dutch speaking people and French speaking people are equal in the central government. The Dutch speaking cannot take the advantages as they are the majority in the country and there is an equal representation of both Dutch speaking people and, and the French speaking people, people in the central government. So, neither the Dutch speaker speaking nor the French speaking can take the advantages of the majority and they cannot take distancing single handedly. The second amendment is there. The state government is not a subordinate to the central government, means the state government has some special power and some regional power as compared to the central government. As we, as we have already studied about that in the capital city of Brussels where France speaking peoples are more and the Dutch speaking peoples are less. That is why there is a separate government in the capital city in which both Dutch speaking and France speaking people have equal representation. So, apart from the central government and state government, there is another government which is community government. 
the community government the community government which is elected by all the three french speaking and the dutch speaking and the german speaking people no matter where they live the community government has the power regarding the educational the cultural and the language related issues belgium model is proved more better than the sri lankan model where there is equal representation equal respect for all language speaking and it make proof that the belgium model is better than sri lankan model from the very beginning brussels was chosen as the capital of european union 